Hi students, in this video, we will discuss the NTA UGC Net Economics December 2021 June 2022 merge cycles like questions. That is the final answer keys. Oro questions um, aid aerial ni naan vanna dadu bola ne, adine answer keys enda naan na ayrikum. Namle discuss yam pova. Detail ay thola discussion videos far thala ay thala namle channel available ayrikum. Pam e or video le namle just questions um, adine answer keys um matra ayrikum discuss yia. So here is the first question. The errors of money for real variable in classical system is called options: fiscal neutrality, monetary neutrality, exchange rate neutrality, technological neutrality. The right answer for this question is B. Monetary Neutrality. So, the second one, arrange the following in ascending order. Option A, growth rate of gross national income at constant price of India in 2015 and 16. B, uh, second option, growth rate of gross national income at constant price of India in 2016 and 17. Growth rate of gross national income at constant price of India in 2017 and 18, growth rate of gross national income at constant price of India in 2018 and 19, growth rate of gross national income of India in 2019 and 20. So we have to arrange this uh, different uh, years gro uh, gross national at cost constant price. So we have different options here. So right answer for this question is option C that is uh, option E is the language statement E is the first one then second one option D then third one option C and fourth one option A and uh, last one is option B so right answer is option B okay the third one third question a bag contained 20 tickets marked with numbers 1 to 20 one ticket is drawn at a random Find the probability that will be multiplied multiple of 2 or 5. So this question is from the module statistics. So options are option A 0.7, option B 0.9, option C 0.6 and option D 0.3. The right answer is option C 0.6. The fourth question given below are two statements. Statement 1, taking advantage of increased demand for stables during the COVID-19 pandemic, India's agricultural export continued to do well in 2000, to, uh, 2021 and 2022. Statement 2, like in the year 2020 and 2021, segment like marine product, buffalo meat, tea, coffee and dairy product continue to perform pure, poorly in the terms of export from India 2021 and 2022. In the light of the above statement, choose the correct answer from the options given below. So two statements are there. These all, this question also from the uh, module Indian economy and you should have a thorough understanding about the Indian economic survey. Okay, uh, different options are there. Option one, both statement one and two are true. Uh, both statement one and statement two are false. Statement 1 is true, but statement 2 is false. Statement 1 is false, but statement 2 is true. So the right answer for this question is option C. Statement 1 is true, but statement 2 is false. Okay, next question is a, uh, a mass of following questions. So list 1 is given. Rural urban migration, economic development with unlimited supply of labor, process of cumulative causation, decline in terms of trade of primary commodities so list two is uh, here arthur lewis gunna Merdal, rahul prabish uh, harry Storado. so we have to arrange uh, this different concept with the uh, proponents so different options are given so right answer for this question is answer uh, option b so uh, the first one rural urban migration is connected with the uh, Harry Storado, the unlimited uh, economic development with unlimited supply of labor is connected with the Arthur Lewis and uh, third one, the process of cumulative causation is connected with Gunnar Mirdal. The last one decline in the terms of trade of primary commodities, Ragul Prabish. Okay, the right answer is option B. Next one, the sixth one, real and nominal income is calculated respectively at. So, the options are 
current and constant prices constant and current prices constant and constant prices current and current prices so we have to uh, correctly connect with the uh, real and nominal variable like real income or uh, nominal income so the right answer for this question is option b which is constant and current prices so uh, real income is connected with uh, constant prices and current price is connected with nominal income okay then seventh one match labor force with appropriate item from the from among the following so we have to connect the labor force with the options so option a total workforce option b employed plus unemployed option c total educated manpower option d population in the age group 15 to 16 the right answer for this question is option b labor force can be connected with employed plus unemployed so eighth question in which year gross domestic saving rate was the highest so he, this question also uh, connected with the module Indian economy. So the options are 2004 and 5, 2007 and 8, 2011 and 12, 2016 and 17. So right answer for this question is option B, 2007 and 8. So the ninth one, with the reference to the views of classicals on public debt, which of the following are correct? So this question is from the public finance different statements are given so we have to connect which are the correct with the public debt so the first statement further financing get more troublesome due to public debt second statement public debt lead to a reduction of resources for productive private employment increasing public debt leads to a currency depreciation and deflationary situation in the economy Debt financing requires fund for interest payment and amortization, hence a double burden for exchequer. Public debt leads to a productive activities. So, uh, we have to connect with the classicals view on public debt. So, the right answer for this question is option D. So, the option D is contained A, B, D. A, B, D. So, A means further financing get more troublesome due to public debt. Then next one is B, B which is given public debt lead to a reduction of resources for product, productive private employment. Then last one is D option, D statement. The debt financing required fund for interest payment and amortization, hence a double burden for exchequer. So these are the right statements for the ninth question. Then tenth one, in Harodoma model, if the growth rate of income is 8%, and the capital output ratio is 4%, then the saving rate must be. So this question is from the module, uh, growth and development. So different options are given. Option A, 32%, option B, 2%, option C, 36%, and option D, 1 by 2%. The right answer for this question is option A, 32%. So the next question, given below are the two statements. Statement 1, Devaluation always correct a chronic balance of payment deficit. Statement 2. An expected devaluation lead to speculative capital outflow from the domestic currency. In the light of the above statement, choose the correct answer from the options given below. So option A given, both statement 1 and 2 are correct. Both statement 1 and statement 2 are false. Statement 1 is true, but statement 2 is false. Statement 1 is false and statement 2 is true. The right answer for this question is option D. Statement 1 is false but statement 2 is true. So, 12th question. If time deposit is not included, then the money multiplier will be. So, we have to understand uh, what is the correct money multiplier equation. So, different options are given. So, right answer for this question is option D which is Currency plus 1 divided by so, uh, reverse, reverse deposit ratio plus currency. Option D, CR plus 1 divided by RR plus CR. 13th question. The strategy of choosing the policy which has the best possible outcome is known as. Option A, dominant strategy. Option B, maxi max. 
option c mini max option d maxi mean right answer for this question is answer option b maxi max so the next two question is the master following questions uh, the different uh, option uh, different list uh, two different lists are given the first list reverts a repo rate bank rate repo rate cash reserve ratio list two R, uh, rba provide loan to commercial bank for short term rba provide loan to commercial bank for long term rba borrows money from commercial banks commercial banks have to deposit minimum ratio of the of uh, their net total liabilities of liabilities in rba so different options are given right answer for this question is option b uh, which is first one the reverse repo is connected with the rba borrows money from the commercial banks then b option bank rate is connected with the second one in, uh, second one in the list to rba provides loan to commercial bank for long term then c1 repo repo rate is connected with the uh, list to first one rba provide loan to commercial bank for short term the last one cash reserve ratio is connected with the fourth one which is commercial banks have to deposit minimum ratio of their net total liabilities in rba so the 15th question what are the primary goals of sustainability so the different statements are given the end of poverty and hunger better standard of education and health care to achieve gender equality sustainable economic growth to achieve both inter and intra generation equ equity generation equity intra and inter and intra generation equity so uh, different options are given the right answer for this question is option d which is a b c d and e all the above are the right in the concept of sustainability so a b c d e everything is right okay so uh, the 16th question that also from the uh, mass the following uh, this also come under the module public finance so list one is given pure public good pure private good open access resources congestible resources so list two is given non rival but excludable non excludable but rivalry non rival and non excludable excludable and rivalry so right answer for this question is option b uh, which is uh, pure public pure public good con is connected with non rivalry and non excludable then pure private good is connected with the fourth one excludable and rivalry then option c open access resources is connected with the non excludable but rivalry then last one consistable resources is connected with the non rival and excludable so the 17th question here is given the sex ratio of different states of india for 2011 2011 sex ratios are given uh, different states its uh, sex ratios are given so first one is gujarat 942 madhya pradesh 931 odisha 979 tamil nadu 996 haryana 862 so we have to uh, identify the correct pairs correct pairs given okay so the correct answer for this question is and uh, option a which is uh, b c and d b c and d are the right pairs okay then the next one which of the following conditions are satisfied for the rational firm to achieve its equilibrium by maximizing q is the function of l and k subject to c equal to the w l plus r k so different options are governed uh, right answer for this question is answer b which is a d and e a d and e so the 19th one in the mundel fleming model under float in exchange rate which of the policy is more effective to influence aggregate income so this question is from the module international economics so different options are given physical policy monetary policy exchange rate policy and none of the above the right answer for this question is monetary policy which is option b so next one 20th one 
two factors of production say a and b have the same price the least cost combination of a and b for producing given level of output will be achieved at a point where the isocon slope equal to so we have to identify the uh, uh, slope of the isocon this question is from the module microeconomic so different options are given first options 0 second one 1 third one minus 1 and fourth one is 2 so right answer for this question is option c which is minus 1 so the 21st 21st one is from the module uh, mathematical economics so here we are given a uh, here uh, we have a matrix so we have to find the rank of the matrix so find the rank of a so the options are given option a 3 option b 2 option c 1 and option d 0 the right answer for this question is option b which is 2 so the rank for this uh, matrix is option b 2 the next one is one of the various qualitative instruments used by the bank, central bank during inflation is so uh, we have different options rise marginal requirement remove marginal requirement reduce marginal requirement fix marginal requirement so right answer for this question is option a rise marginal requirement so it's uh, marginal requirement is a qualitative instrument so 23rd one arrange the following environmental disaster chronologically in accordance with their occurrence so we have to arrange in a chrono chronological order so the first one is Bhopal gas tra uh, tragedy second one is Chernobyl explosion third one is Lenten uh, smoke episodes uh, fourth one is exhaust Valdez. Uh, fourth one is the three mile Iceland nuclear disaster so the correct order is option B which is C E A B and D so 24th one primary deficit is given by option A physical deficit minus interpay, interest payment revenue deficit minus interest payment budget deficit minus interest payment revenue receipt minus revenue expenditure so the right answer for this question is uh, uh, option A which is physical deficit minus interest payment so 25th question is drop uh, so the mark, mark is allocated to everyone so we are not uh, going to the 25th one then the 26th one which of the following are assumptions of ordinary utility analysis consumers are consistent with their preference consumers can measure the total utility received from any given basket of goods consumer preference follow transitivity consumer are non satiated with the with respect to goods they comfort consumers are irrational so right answer for this question is option c which is a c and d a c and d are the right statement for uh, ordinary utility analysis and the uh, 27th one from the module statistics and econometrics so here we are uh, given a regression equation the fitter regression equation is given by y i equal to the minus 10 plus 0 0.6 x what is the value of the residual at the point x equal to 40 and y is equal to 60 so option a for uh, 74 option b 46 option c, c 0 option d 45 the right answer for this question is option b 46 so the next one is uh, from the module uh, international economics which of the following were the part of fta policy reforms and other measures during the covid 90 pandemic period so uh, different options are given 100% fda in the health uh, health sector statement b permitting foreign investment up to 100% under automatic route in the telecom service sector fda monitoring cell has been formed to exploit fda proposals rise the fda limit from 49% to 74% in the insurance companies under the automatic route reduce the limit of fda in the defense sector to realize the vision of 
Atmanabha Bharat. So we have to find the correct statements from the uh, four state uh, uh, this uh, area. So the correct options are option C, which is B, C, and D. B, C, and D. B, C, and D are the right statement uh, uh, related to the FDA policy during the COVID-19 pandemic. So 29th question. If we have objective function involving n variables, u equal the function of x1, x2, and x3, and xn, subject to pi x1, x2, x3, and xn equal to 0, the second order condition for experiment to be. Certain uh, statements are given. The right answer for this question is option B, which is B and D only correct. Okay, the next one is 13 question is dropped by NTA. So, mark is allocated to everyone. So, we are not going to look at 13th question. We are moving to the 31st question. A simultaneous equation model is said to be over identified if option A, unique numerical values of the structural parameters can be obtained. More than one numerical values can be obtained for some of the parameters of the structural equation. Unique solution for all the structural coefficient is not possible. Structural coefficient cannot be estimated. So the right answer for this question is option B. So 32nd one, what are the practical consequences of multicollinearity in CLRM? R square, the overall measure of the goodness of fit can be very high. OLS estimators are not blue. OLS estimates have small variance and covariance. T ratio of one or more coefficient is statistically in, uh, insignificant. The OLS estimators and their standard error can be sensitive to small changes in the data. So, uh, uh, the different statements are given. The right answer for this question is option C, which is A, D, and E. A, D, and E are the right statements connected to the uh, consequence of multicollinearity in CLR. So, next question. In which stages of the product cycle model, the imitating country starts producing the product for domestic consumption? Options stage 3, option B stage 2, option C stage 1, option D stage 5. So, right answer for this question is option A stage 3. Next one. Which of the following conditions prevails in the long term equilibrium of industry for achieving optimal resource allocation? Different statements are given. The output is produced at the minimum feasible cost. Consumer pays the minimum possible price which just cover the marginal cost of the product. Plants are used at full capacity in long term. Firms earn supernormal profit. Perfect competitive firm and price mechanism operate, operates. So different uh, statements are given. The right answer for this question is option A. Uh, so the statements A, B, C and E are the right options, right statements. Okay, the 35th question. Which of the following are correct? M1 equal to C plus DD plus OD. M2 equal to M1 plus saving deposit with post office saving banks. M3 equal to M2 plus net time deposit of bank. M3 equal to M1 plus net time deposit of banks. M4 equal to M1 plus total deposit with the post office savings. So we have to uh, look at the correct statements. So the right answer for this question is option B, which is A, B, D. A, B, D only correct. So, the next one, the hypothesis of cumulative causation as an explanation of the backwardness of developing nation is associated with Ragnar Nux, Gunnar Myrdal, Arthur Lewis, Fey and Ranis. So, the cumulative causation is connected with Gunnar Myrdal. So, the next one, here is given a weight of items under used, uh, under use based classification of industrial production index of India base year 2011 and 12. Primary good 34.05 percent, capital good 12.22 percentage, intermediate good 17.22 percentage, infrastructure and construction good 
3.34 percentage consumer goods 24.17 percentage so we have to uh, identify the correct weightages uh, uh, in the uh, 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 statements so the right answer for this question is option c which is statement a c and d only correct so the primary uh, primary goods and the uh, intermediate goods and the D, uh, D, infrastructure and constructed good weightages are the correct one. So, the next one, which of the following are correct? Market is a system that works with price mechanism. Market failure refers to the divergence of market equilibrium from Pareto optimality. Statement 3, market fails to efficient, uh, efficiently supply public good and the same makes a case of case for government intervention statement for market efficiency work in the presence of positive externality last one market efficiency work in the presence of negative externality so we have to identify the correct statement so the right answer for this question is option b uh, which uh, statements a b and c only correct so 39th one pradhan mandri then uh, Jantan Yojana PMJDY has been a flagship program of Government of India. So uh, the uh, uh, Pradhan Mandri uh, Jantan Yojana related statements are given. So the first statement beneficiaries of this scheme are eligible for accident insurance cover of rupees 1 lakh now. Then PMJDY is helpful in inclusive development. PMJDY beneficiaries should not be given other benefits like benefits under mudra scheme it is leading to women empowerment more than 45 crore people have benefited so far under pmjdy so we have to identify the correct statement related to the pradhan mandri jantan yojana so the right answer for this question is option c which is b d e only b d and e is the right statements connected to the pradhan mandri jantan yojana so the 14th question if the income effect for a good is in the opposite direction as the substitution effect but the substitution effect dominate then the good is so we have to identify which good is uh, uh, in which good the substitution effect is greater so the options are normal inferior but not given given none of the above so the right answer for this question is b inferior but not given
So the uh, question number 41, PM Gedi Shakti is driven by dash engines. So options 4, 5, 6 and 7. The right answer for this question is 7. So the PM Gedi Shakti is driven by 7 engines. So answer is option D. What has been the reason for recent dip in vehicle registration in the country? Options shortage of semiconductor chips. Poor credit supply by the banking sector, sharp rise in vehicle prices, option D, reduced demand for vehicles. So the right answer for this question is option A, shortage of semiconductor chips. The question number 43, the total revenue and the total cost function of the firms are given by R, revenue function equal to 30Q minus Q square. Cost function equal to 20 plus 4Q, where Q is output, find the equilibrium output of the firms. So the options, option A, 4, option B, 13, option C, 15, option D, 10. The right answer for this question is option B. So question number 44, uh, master following, list 1. Money supply and price level in the economy are de indirect proportion. Inverse relationship between unemployment and the rate of wage inflation. Profit as a reward for innovation. Last one's policy, ineffective proportion. So, list two is, uh, in list two, we have uh, A.W. Philip Fisher, Robert Lucas, Joseph Schumbeter. The right answer for this question is option A, which is uh, first one uh, in list one money supply and the price level in the economy are indirect proportion is connected with the fissure. Then the second one inverse relationship between unemployment and the rate of wage inflation is connected with A.W. Philip. Profit as a reward for innovation is Schumpeter. Then the last one policy ineffective proposition is connected with the uh, Robert Lucas. Okay, so right answer is option A. Question number 45. Harry's score in the statistics in the first year is 76, whereas the class average is 68 with a standard deviation of 5. What is Harry's Z score? So we have to find the Z score. So the options 1.5, Option B, 1.6. Option C, 1.2. Option D, 1.4. The right answer for this question is option B, 1.6. The question number 46. Net migration refers to overall level of the population change resulting from total migration and immigration immigrants. Option B is the difference between the number of immigrants workers and the number of immigrant workers. Option C does not include refugees and other lawful migrants. Last one, option D, includes refugees only. The right answer for this question is option A. The, uh, question number 47, arrange the different schools of thought in sequence of their occurrence starting from the oldest. Okay, different schools of thoughts are given. First one, physiocards, Keynesian economics, classical economics, new Keynesian economics, uh, monetary counter revolution. So, the right answer for this question is option D, which uh, first one is uh, A, physiocrats, second one is classical economics, third one is uh, Keynesian economics, fourth one is uh, uh, monetary counterparts, last one, uh, uh, last one is uh, new Keynesian economics. Okay, so the right option is option D. Question number 48, arrange this state in ascending order based on the percentage of population who are multidimensionally poor based on Nidhi Aayog report 2021. So different states are given, Bihar, Odisha, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh. So the right answer for this question is option A, which is A, Bihar, uh, D, uh, D, A, D, Uttar Pradesh, then Madhya Pradesh then Rajasthan and last one is Odisha. The question number 14 and which of the following are correct? Current account includes merchandise export, 
current account do not include merchandise export current account includes invisible export current account do not include invisible export current account includes both merchandise export and import and invisible export and import the right answer for this question is option b which is a c and e a c and e the change in welfare due to change in environmental quality is measured by options hedonic pricing function marginal in, uh, implicit function marginal willingness to pay function offer function so the right answer for this question is marginal willingness to pay function which is option c question number 51 integrate x square by x plus 2 the different certain options are given the right answer is option c so question number 52 arrange the countries based on ascending order of human development index value in 2019 so the option norway bangladesh india china and nepal so the right answer for this question is option a which is first one is norway second one is uh, china third one is india fourth one is uh, bangladesh last one is nepal so question number 53 arrange the following events in a sequence order so different uh, events are given the tokyo round urego round anzi round dillon round and turkey round so the uh, wto conferences are given so we have to arrange from the oldest one to the uh, newest one so the right answer for this question is option c which is c e d a and b the order so uh, right answer for this question is option c uh, write the steps to estimate ECM or VR model in time series. So, uh, vector error correction model, vector autoregression model, uh, we have to find out the steps which are following for this uh, uh, econometrics modeling. So, uh, options are uh, different uh, steps are given. Unit root test, ACF and PACF test, ECM or VAR, put, uh, inputting data, co-integration test the right answer for this question is option c so the order is d b a e and c so the first uh, step is inputting data the second one is acf and pcf test then uh, unit root test then uh, after that you have to uh, go to the co-integration then last one is C, ECM or VAR modeling. Okay. So, question number 55. Which of the following is not a marginal condition for Pareto optimality criteria? So, we have to find out the mar uh, marginal condition for the Pareto optimality. Different options are given. MRS XY A equal to MRS XY B equal to PX by PY. MRTS LK of x equal to mrts lk of y equal to w by r mrs xy a equal to mrs xy b equal to mr pt xy mr pt xy of k equal to mr pt xy of l equal to w by r so the uh, we have to find out the uh, wrong one not uh, not a margin condition of the Pareto optimality so the uh, option uh, right option is option D which is not the Pareto optimality condition so question number 56 if the demand function is P equal to 35 minus 2x minus x square and the demand x0 is 3 what will be the consumer surplus so the options 27 25 60 and 20 so the right answer is 27 Given below are two statements. Statement 1, dualism refers to the economic and social division in the economy, such as difference in the level of technology between sectors or region, difference in the degree of geographic development and difference in the social customs and attitude. Option uh, statement 2, the developing countries in the early stages of development experience dualism, which have implication for further pattern and pace of development. 
in the light of above statement choose the most correct answer from the options given below so we have different options both uh, statement 1 and 2 are true both statement 1 and 2 are false statement 1 is true but statement 2 is false statement 1 is false and statement 2 is true the right answer for this question is the option a both statement 1 and 2 are true so question number 58 growth in total consumption in india 2000 uh, 2021 and 2022 is likely to be options 5.0%, 6 6.0%, 7.0%, 8.0%. So, the right answer is option C, 7.0%. Question number 15A, given below are two statements. Statement 1, if you bought a product which now becomes subject to tax, you will be in a better position to avoid tax and the seller beer with a larger part if your demand is elastic while the seller supply is inelastic. Statement 2, a tax on salt is likely to borne by the consumer. In the light of the above statement, choose the most appropriate answer from the options given below. Different options are here, both statement 1 and statement 2 is correct. Both statement 1 and statement 2 are correct, Incor uh, statement 2 is incorrect. So, uh, statement 1 is correct, but statement 2 is incorrect. Statement 1 is incorrect, but statement 2 is correct. So, the right answer for this question is option A. Both statement 1 and both statement 2 are correct. Question number 60. Which of the following are correct in the case of normal distribution? Q1 plus Q2 equal to 2 empty. QD equal to 1 by 3 sigma qd equal to 2 by 3 sigma all moments of odd order about mean are zero q1 and q2 equal to empty choose the correct answer from the options given below so the right answer for this question is option c which is a c and d is the right ones question number 61 which of the following are correct with respect to ISLM model? Different statements are given. The LM schedule slopes upward to the right. The LM schedule will shift to the left with an increase in the quantity of money. The LM schedule gives equilibrium in the money market. The IS schedule will shift the left when there, uh, there is an increase in the government expenditure. The IS schedule will shift to the right when taxes are reduced. Choose the most appropriate answer from the options given below. The right answer for this question is option A, which is A, C and E. A, C and E is the right answers. So, the question number 62. The basic characteristics of an underdeveloped economy, a low level of technology and poor human capital, Second statement, higher level of GDP and per capita. Of, uh, statement C, a high proportion of the labor force engaged in the agriculture and low agriculture productivity. A high proportion of domestic expenditure on food. Higher incidence of poverty. So, the right uh, statements are A, C, D and E. The option, right uh, option is option a, A, C, D and E is the right option. Option A is the right answer. Again, the master following. Question number 63. Uh, list 1. Size matters in international trade. Uh, economies of scale and mo uh, monopolistic competition in the international trade. Technological gap theory of trade. Zero sum game of the trade. List 2. Paul Krugman. Mercantilist. M. V. Posner the gravity model. So, the uh, right answer is option B, which is A for B1, C3, D2. A for B1, C3 and D2. So, the question number 64. Tools of expansionary physical policy includes, the tools of expansionary physical policy includes rising government expenditure, reducing government expenditure, Increasing tax rate, reducing tax rate, increasing money supply. Choose the correct answer from the 
options given below so we have to identify which are the uh, statements connected to expansionary physical policy for the right answer for this question is option a which is a and d only a and d only rising government expenditure and reducing tax rate so the question number 65 a, a stationary population is what when population growth is increasing at an increasing rate increasing at a decreasing rate grows at a zero rate 100 percent so the right answer for this question is option c grows at a zero rate the question number 66 the given below are two statement one is labeled as assertion a and the other is labeled as a reason r so assertion reason questions so the assertion the endogenous growth theory ex examine production function that shows increasing return reason increasing return is endogenous growth theory increasing returns in the endogenous growth uh, theory is due to specialization and investment in knowledge capital and learning by doing in the light of the above statement choose the most appropriate answer from the option given below so the right answer for this question is option a which is both a and r are correct and r is the correct explanation of a so the question number 67 which of the following is correct the gross battered terms of trade uses quantity index for import and export both gross butter terms of trade and net butter terms of trade make use of the price index of imports and export the net butter terms of trade uses price index for imports and export both gross butter terms of trade and the net butter terms of trade make use of the quantity index of import and export the gross barter terms of trade uses price index but the net barter terms of trade uses quantity index for import and export so we have to choose the correct uh, statement so the right answer for this question is option d which is a and c only a and c only correct a option uh, a statement is the gross barter terms of trade uses quantity index for import and export and also C, third one, the net barter terms of trade uses price index for uh, import and export. So, uh, uh, option D is the right answer. So, question number 68, which of the following hold good for Louis model of development? Unlimited supply of labor, marginal productivity of labor is the subsistence sector is equal to or less than subsistence wage dual economy with a modern sector and substance sector agriculture sector subject to increasing returns the model that explain the crucial role of capital surplus in the development process so the right answer for this question is option a which is a b c and e a b c and e is the right statements so question number 69 in a relation to consideration of demographic dividend there appears to be a demographic dualism exhibit by the Indian states in this regard consider the following factors total fertility rate sex ratio per capita income urbanization rate choose the correct answer from the option so we have to identify which are the uh, state malware, which are the uh, rates connected to the demographic dualism so the right answer for this question is option b which is only a total fertility rate so question number 70 menu cost is the concepts used in classical economics neoclassical economics new keynesian economics keynesian economics so the right answer for this question is option c new keynesian economics so the uh, question number 71 also dropped the marks are allocated to uh, everyone so we are not going to discuss uh, 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 see the question we are moving to the question number 72 suppose a profit maximizing monopolist is producing 800 unit of output and is charging a price of rupees 40 per unit if the elasticity of demand for the product is minus 2 the marginal cost of the last units produced is dash the options 100 option b minus 40 option c minus 2 option d 20 so the right answer for this question is option d which is 20 okay again 
uh, uh, 74th question which is a mass of following so the list one is like this uh, absolute income hypothesis relative income hypothesis permanent income hypothesis life cycle hypothesis list two milton friedman jm keynes james dusenberry franco modigliani so this question is from the module macroeconomics so we have to identify the consumption hypothesis and its proponents so the right answer for this question is option b which is a uh, option b a2 b3 c1 and d4 a2 b3 c1 and d4 so question number 74 monetary policy instruments are change in public expenditure change in taxation open market operation bank reserve requirement interest rate policy so we have to identify which are the uh, instruments for the monetary policy so the right answer for this question is option c which is open market operation bank reserve requirement and interest rate policy so uh, c is the right answer c d and e are the right instruments for the monetary policy so question number 75 List one: Andhra Pradesh PCI in 2020 and 2021, Madhya Pradesh PCI in 2020 and 2021, Odisha PCI in 2020 and 2021, West Bengal PCI in 2020 and 2021. So the list two uh, given by the different uh, uh, rates. So the right answer for this question is option B, which is A4, B1, C2, and D3. Question number 76. Uh, master following so list one fema mrtp act competition act fera list two years are given 1969 2002 1973 1999 so the correct answer for this question is option d that is a4 b1 c2 and d3 a4 b1 c2 and b3 Question number seventy-six: The central bank policy of altering the domestic credit extended by in it in an equal and opposite direction to variation in the foreign exchange reserves, so that the monetary base remain unchanged, is called the options: stabilization, monetary expansion, physical expansion, sterilization. So the correct answer for this question is option D: sterilization. Question number seventy-eight. This question is asked from the macroeconomics in national income accounting. So, what will be the aggregate domestic income (NDP) FC of a economy for two thousand two and three if GDP at market price is two seven six five four crores and depreciation is two eight four seven crores and indirect taxes less subsidy? Uh, 2160 crores. So the options are given. Option A 24807. Option B 22647. Option C 26967. Option D 28467. The correct answer for this question is option B 22647. So the question number 78. What does the result of the first empirical test of the Hasselblad model by Wesley Leonti found. So this question is from the module International Economics. The options are option A: U.S. exports were less capital intensive than U.S. import. U.S. export were more capital intensive than U.S. import. U.S. export were more human capital intensive than U.S. import. All of the above. The right answer for this question is option A. U.S. export were less capital intensive than U.S. import. So the question number eighty marks the following: List one, testing of overall significance, testing of independence of attribute, testing of significance of regression coefficient, normality test. List two, chi-square test, Jabbara test, F test, T test. So the right answer for this question is option B. Which is A3, B1, C4, and D2. So the question number 81. Criteria and weight assigned to the fifth finance, fifteenth finance commission of India for horizontal devolution. So 
uh, this question also from the module uh, public finance so uh, different weighted uh, criteria are given so area forest and ecology income distance tax and physical effort demographic performance so we have to arrange the criteria and uh, different uh, weights so the option is uh, right option is a so d b e a and c is the weightage order so question number 82 the provision for social good or the process by which total total resources used in di uh, divided between private and social good and by which the mix of social good is chosen is known as allocation function distribution function stabilization function normalization function the right answer for this question is option a allocation function <coughs> question number 83 the binomial distribution can be used under the following conditions a n the number of trials in fine uh, a number is finite and independent n the number of trials is infinite and independent each trial result in two mutually exclusive and exhaustive outcomes terms as success and failure p the probability of success is constant for each trial the probability of failure does not remain same for each trial so the right answer for this question is option c a c d only correct so the question number 84 provide proper chronological order of different schemes launched in india so we have to arrange the chronological order the uh, schemes are pradhan mandri jen aish Aush, uh, Aushadi Yojana, Pradhan Mandri Ujjwala Yojana, Adult Pension Yojana, PM Janthan Yojana, Aishman Bharat. So the correct chronological order is option D, D, C, A, B and E. Correct chronological uh, order, first one is D, Pradhan Mandri Janthan Yojana, then C, Adult Pension Yojana, then again A, Pradhan Mandri Jen Aish uh, Aushadi Yojana and B Pradhan Mandri Ujjwala Yojana and E Aishman Bharat Yojana. So the question number 85 the Tikulia effect indicate the spread of the 1994 and 1995 Mexican crisis to the other countries in Latin America, the spread of the 1997 crisis in Thailand to other countries of in Asia. The supreme crisis emerged in 2007 in the United States. The domestic debt crisis occurred in Argentina in 1989. The correct answer is option J. The spread of the 1994 and 1995 Mexican crisis to other countries in Latin America. So question number 86. Below are some of the features of micro, small and medium enterprises in India. Revised definition of MSMEs was brought in July 2020. In the definition, turnover limit varied between service and manufacturing sector enterprises. In the revised definition, turnover limit to small enterprises were rupees 50 crores. In this revised definition, investment limit in the plant and machinery or equipment for medium enterprises was rupees 50 crores. In the revised definition, investment limit for plant and machinery or equipment for medium enterprises was 5 crores. Choose the correct answer from the option given below. So the right options are, uh, right option is option B, which is A, C and D only. A, C and D only. Question number 87, which of the following modern Indian economic thinker had not gone abroad for the study or work? Mahatma Gandhi. Ramahana Lokya, Bia Ampeka, Deen Dayal, Ubadia. So the right answer is option D, Deen Dayal, Ubadia. Question number 88, match the following. List 1, the greatest good, the greatest good for the greater number, stability of uh, general equilibrium, degree of monopoly power, third degree price discrimination. List 2, learner's index, Bendham. Bendham's criteria, Totomant, Pigu. So the right answer for this question is option D, A2, 
B3, C1 and D4. Question number 18 a. In the context of the transaction demand for money, the square root rule was developed by. So we have to identify which economics performed the square root rule. So the right answer for this question is option C, Baumol and Tobin. So 19th question, which of the following strategy is not correct in order to have expansionary impact of fiscal policy? Public expenditure must be financed by borrowings. Public expenditure must be financed through increasing tax only. Compensatory spending for public investment cut in taxes. The right answer is option B. Public expenditure must be financed through increased tax only. Okay, the next 10 questions are from reading combination. So I won't be reading the entire passage. You just uh, pause the video and read this passage. I will be reading the questions and the right answers. So the passage is like this. So question number 91, which of the following is true? Option A, because of globalization, poverty has increased in all the countries of the world. Option B, because of the globalization, poverty has reduced in all the countries of the world. Option C, without globalization, world poverty would probably be even more widespread. Without globalization, world poverty would be uh, would probably be even less widespread so we have to find the true statement so the right answer is option c without globalization where poverty would probably be even more widespread so question number 92 which of the following is incorrect so the first question was to choose the right one so now we have to choose the incorrect one so option a the inward stock of FDA to developing countries is less than that of the developed countries. Option B, the outward stock of FDA from developing countries is less than that of the developed countries. Both the inward stock of FDA to developing countries and the outward stock of FDA from the developing countries remained higher in developing countries than developed countries. Option D, both the inward stock of FDA to developing countries and outward stock of FDA from developing countries remain lower in developing countries than developed countries. So the right answer is option C. Question number 93, which of the following reflect the most correct sense of the new international economics of scale? Options. All the part of the components of the product is manufactured in the host country only. When all the parts of and components of the product manufactured in the host country, it minimizes production cost in each of the producing country. Cheaper input from different countries are required to remain competitive. The new international economics of scale is more concerned about profit rather than remain competitive. So the right answer is option C. Cheaper input from different countries are required to remain competitive. So the question number 94. During the investment period, if the higher yielding currency depreciate against lower yielding currency by a higher percentage than the positive interest differential than uh, dif uh, positive interest differential, then which of the following will be will occur? So investment investor will lose, the investor will earn profit, the profit of the investor will remain unchanged, none of the above. The right answer is option A, the investor will lose. So question number 95, what for globalization has been blamed? Globalization has neither increased efficiency nor openness. Globalization has increased both efficiency and openness. Globalization has increased efficiency but not openness. Globalization has not spread the benefit of increased efficiency and openness equitably to all the nation. The right answer is option D. The next five question, uh, uh, questions passage is given here. You just uh, go through the passage uh, by pausing the video and read this passage and we will be going to the questions. So just uh, read the passage carefully.
Question number 96. Which of the following sector have no developed recently in the startups? IT service, robotic, artificial, artificial intelligence, space, space technology. So the right answer is option D, space technology. How much amount has been allocated under the scheme of startup to find new startup for proof of concepts, prototype and trials of products, entry of entry of market and commercialization? So the right answer is option C, 945 crores. Question number 98, which of the following is true in the case of startups in India? The startups increased by 7.25% during 2016 and 17 and 2021, sorry, 2021 and 2022. Option B, sectoral growth of startup is taken place by 56%. This is startup have developed in important sectors like agriculture, tourism and irrigation. The recognized sectors have created job more than 7 lakhs. So the right answer is option D. What is the prioritized object of industrialization in the term of startup initiatives? Self-reliance, employment op opportunities, both are self-reliance and employment opportunities, export reduction. So the right answer is option C, the self-reliance and em employment opportunities. The last question, which of the following measure is required for sustaining startups? Attracting FTS startup tax holidays on the startups, creation of the domestic demand for startups, encouraging startup in defense sector. For the right answer, uh, right answer for this question is option C, creation of domestic demand for the startups. So, in this video, we will see the modules in the questions. We will see the exam in the pattern. We will see the exam side of the exam. We will see the assertion and statement wise questions. We will see the following weightage increase. We will see the preparation time. We will see the preparation of these type of questions. We will see the preparation of these type of questions. Thank you and happy learning.